Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweety Speaks official YouTube channel. Today we will talk about books we, which you can refer for studying your VLSI subjects. The first book is about digital electronics. I think a lot of you might already have this book in your syllabus. When I was doing my graduation, I referred Morris Menno for digital electronics and it still remains my favorite book. There are a lot of books in digital electronics, but I'm just going to uh, put only one book per subject. If this book doesn't suit you, you can refer any other book from your syllabus or any other book which you feel is right for you. Because some people find some book easy, some people find some other book easy to understand. And since it was in my syllabus, I still refer this book. This book talks about a lot of digital concepts and it also has numericals on same. I had solved a lot of numericals in digital electronics, which have helped me clear a lot of concepts. I would urge you to refer this book and at least try to solve the numericals in this so that it will give you in-depth understanding of these digital electronic concepts. The second book is on computer architecture. Again, there are a lot of books, but I refer this one, Computer Architecture, a Quantitative Approach. This book talks about a lot of computer architecture concepts like cache memories, RAM, ROM memories, your pipelining concepts. It again has a lot of numericals which you can solve. When we solve these numericals, now we actually get an understanding of how this computer architecture works. So numericals are really my favorite. Then you need to study HDL, which is hardware description language. First, you need to start with Verilog. For me, I found this book very easy to understand. Verilog HDL by Samir Palnetkar. Uh, you can start reading it like chapter by chapter. It will give you an understanding of Verilog HDL. Or if you have any other book for reference, you can use that. In addition to that, we also have a LRM, which is Language Reference Manual for Verilog. In case there is a, some concept which you are not understanding, even you are trying to search online but not understanding, Verilog a LRM gives you in-depth description of all the uh, language syntax and all the language uh, uh, concepts about Verilog. So final destination, if you don't understand anything, you can refer Verilog LRM. Then we have System Verilog. For that, I like System Verilog for verification by Chris Peer. It's of Springer publication. This still remains my favorite book. It covers all essential System Verilog concepts for verification engineers like uh, coverage, assertion, oops concept. These are very important concepts which we need to learn and add it to our resume. In addition to this, we again have a language reference manual for System Verilog, System Verilog LRM. Then you need to learn some basic Unix command. You would have already practiced it when you were in college, but you can revise it. For this, there are a lot of online videos and tutorials. If you just search about the Unix tutorial, you will get so many things. And you can choose from the uh, site which best suits, like whichever is easy for you to understand that you can go for. As a fresher, you should know one scripting language. You can choose any one, Tickle, Bash, Perl, Python. Again, for this, since it's a scripting language, there are a lot of online videos and tutorials. You just search for this and it will be there. Whatever you find easy, you can read from that, learn, practice. Without practice, you will not learn anything. Understand this. If you are uh, studying Verilog, System Verilog, Basic Unix, uh, any scripting language, you need to practice. And for this also, Verilog and System Verilog also, there are free practice platforms. We are going to talk about that in detail in coming lectures. But let me just name them. For Verilog, you can use HDL bits. I repeat, HDL bits. This is a free practice platform for Verilog. For system Verilog and UVM, you can use EDA Playground. 
EDA playground is a free practice platform. There might be more, but these are uh, ones which I am aware of that they are free platform which freshers can use to practice their Verilog system, Verilog UVM concepts. And again, for Unix and uh, scripting language, you can easily download. That is not a big deal. For UVM, you should learn UVM cookbook. This is the one which I referred. It talks about all UVM concepts. It will talk about why do you need UVM, then UVM test bench, different components of UVM test bench, what is UVM factory, and a lot of like other concepts of UVM. I like this book. This is my personal favorite. Again, as I said, I am just giving you for reference. There might be a lot of books, but these are ones which I refer. If you have any other books which you refer, you can put in comments so that other people are also aware that these are other uh, books which they can refer. Or if you know any other place where tutorials are available, any other place from which they can practice, just put in comments so that everyone is aware. Let's create this awareness. Let's help everyone. I hope this helped you understand the books which you can use for reference. To stay tuned to such content, please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Thank you.